commenting on this. Uh, I, I um, in, in, in imagine that we will actually share the time equally, uh, five minutes per participants to comment on this, and uh, then uh, if there is any time left, we can have a more general uh, discussion. But I managed to get some extra minutes for this uh, uh, for this uh, session to make an introduction which at first may seem a bit uh, out of scope, but uh, which I think uh, is important, and that's also not only to look on exactly on the market situation that we have today, especially if we want to review the uh, status here, but to also see what is around the corner when it comes to kind of the, the demand for services. And uh, uh, therefore I invited uh, Team Urkisaino uh, waiting here to make a very brief presentation on uh, the concept of multi -open. And I have a few slides for you here. I'm working on that feature. So, <coughs> that's why we are working on that project we call this, uh, which stands for multiple internet service providers. And it's a software implementation of the multiple residential gateway. If you use that, you will never lose the connectivity home again. And it also simplifies and improves the way you access internet. It's also free because we are going to release it under GPL license. Uh, potential customers are residents, housing companies, and possibly vendors. It gives the following benefits to the home users. It combines different access methods, increases total bandwidth, and provide smart ma traffic management also. I will illustrate this on this picture here. Uh, we have two households using multi-home residential gateways, and they are connected to the internet through two ISPs. Both of them could be more, of course, the more better. But uh, reliability. And imagine if ISP2 network is down or modem is down, the user tenants of household one will still be able to browse and access internet through ISP1. Then the smart traffic management. By that we uh, mean that users will be able to configure the certain uh, traffic from certain applications and protocols to go through certain links. Like in this example, uh, we have uh, browsing traffic and uh, voice over IP traffic go through ISP1 and BitTorrent go through ISP2 and we assume that in this example say ISP1 is limiting the BitTorrent traffic by traffic shaping and ISP2 is probably doing the same as C so users are avoiding that and getting the service they really want themselves and household 2 we have all the traffic is configured to go through ISP4 and the 3G connection to ISP3 is only used for backup because it's too expensive. So this is the kind of configuration you can have. Then on to the benefits for the housing companies. The way we see it, it will help to attract more tenants by providing better communication facilities. And then it will simplify the management on, of uh, communication infrastructure by letting the users uh, a simple way to access and combine the services from the operators and content providers. And on this picture, I will illustrate that. We have an apartment building with a local area network, and then we have a metropolitan network, open network, uh, with a set of operators and content providers. We have IPTV here, but could be video on demand, the various electronic shops, and they don't have to be connected to internet, just uh, big fight to the metropolitan area network. Then the multi home residential gateway, this our project is uh, serving the all tenants in the house and what it gives it it provides the users the, the tenants with a simple web interface so that they can access get the subscription from a set of operators 
and content providers, and it will be able to multi-home between the several ISPs in, in the same physical link, just separated by VLANs. Same with the content providers. So you can imagine a scenario when uh, in flat A, say, uh, gets a, opens up a web interface and gets a temporary connection for the evening, temporary, so, uh, temporary subscription from a PTV provider for the evening to watch some uh, Champions League games or a movie, all in one place and with the multi homing from the getting redundant connections from the ISPs. So that's all about my exact short presentation. And uh, it's an open platform. The users of it, I, I thank you for your attention.